Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me, I do appreciate it. In today's video I want to update a few of my problematic cattleys, <laughs> see how they are coping with winter, especially now that the days are getting longer. I will add a few other things and one of them is just a brief look at my magnolia, which is already in full bloom. I love this tree, <laughs> although its beauty has a price. I barely finished picking the deciduous leaves and I already have the ground covered in, in petals. But uh, it is a nice show every year and uh, it brightens up my, uh, my soul. The birds came back and uh, they seem anxious to get the nice cover of leaves. And I see them flying around the tree all day. These are gorgeous blooms, quite large and mildly fragrant. They appear on the naked branches, but soon the leaves will be sprouting. For the moment, we can enjoy the bicolor effect of the flowers, which adds to the beauty of the display. I mean, the flowers are pink on the outside, but uh, as they mature and open wide, they reveal the white interiors. There is a great variety of birds around here. Some of them sing beautifully. The black caps are my favorite. And the funny thing is that there is one black cap that took a fancy for this window. I really don't know what attracts him to, to it. Because he did it last year, the same thing. And again this year. Maybe the fact that these glass panes have a mirror effect or maybe he wants to go in and see my orchids. Can you see the orchids there in the room? At several occasions I managed to film the bird from the inside and I assembled a few clips for you. While he's doing his thing, all I could hear inside was a sort of tapping. But now I am adding his singing too. Isn't it marvelous? And now, while Phoenix is taking a snooze and Olivia is seeking for her warmth, we will take uh, that look at a few orchids which update is due. This is my south facing window and it, with its bright uh, sun on sunny days, of course. I must say a word of caution. It is always advisable to be aware of the heat damages on your orchids when they are living at a windowsill. The sun can get very hot through glass, especially now that the sun is getting stronger. I am keeping an eye on my orchids, always checking if the leaves are not getting warm, which is not good. The yellow blooms of this vanda have turned slightly darker. Not orange though, very beautiful color like little suns. The other spike is on its way. I need to water the vantas today. The last few days were cloudy and chilly and they have been dry for a few days already. This is Cattleyan de Segarix Wax African Beauty. I bought it as a root division last year of 2021. I know it had been imported rootless from Brazil and it was placed in a pot to root in March. When I received it in September, it had uh, this new growth which was just starting new roots. So I repotted and found out the new roots were the only ones uh, this plant could uh, depend on as the ones in the pot were mushy. I repotted in this small mesh pot, uh, which is enough for it. But during winter, the roots grew on. 
Most of the roots are at the surface, but there are also a couple that went into the medium and they were poking out the slits. As they were at risk of breaking or uh, maybe I could touch them and when it happens they, they stop growing, I decided to place the smaller pot into this larger one. There is no medium in between the two pots apart from a few chunks of uh, charcoal to hold the smaller uh, mesh pot in place. Although I'm quite happy with the, the root to growth, I feel it is strange that the new growth did not grow more. In fact, it is not much bigger than when I bought it. The only difference is that it uh, feels stronger. Well, this is a bifoliate. The pseudobulbs are very thin and um, do not have uh, many reserves in them. In these circumstances, a division should have more pseudobulbs than this one has. To my understanding, this cattleya was severely set back on account of it and will take a long time before it blooms. That is, if it finds the strength to grow well. Time will tell. I'm using the same system of two pots for the safeguard of the roots that were poking through the slits of the mesh pot in this plant. This one is Laelia pomila, now Cattleya pomila, a miniature orchid I have for several years. It was a tiny thing imported from Brazil, rootless. It bloomed for the first time two years ago with a lovely bloom which photo I will add. Last year it produced a bud again, but I was not happy with the roots and so I took the difficult decision of chopping the bud off to make um, the plant uh, grow new roots, to focus on the new roots. I am happy to say it worked. All these roots here are the proof of it. Now I need a new growth to bloom next October. There is an eye right below the previous growth, which will hopefully grow during spring and summer. And then I'll have my bloom in the fall. This is another bifoliate, the species Cattleya porphyroglossa. I use the same system of an outer pot to protect the emerging roots through the slits of the mesh pot. This species needs a lot of humidity. For some reason, the leaves of the new growth from last year fell off. Fortunately, there is already a new growth starting. I will have to pay extra attention to this uh, species next summer. This one here is uh, Rincolalia cattleya durigan, variety Hercules. I bought it last year in May. It was a problematic plant from the very beginning. I will place a link and a card in case you want to check what I did to recover this orchid from the dehydration and uh, stimulating uh, the roots. And now we can see the leaves have uh, rehydrated except for these older ones. Uh, during summer it grew some roots which went on growing during winter. The orchid itself grew quite a lot. There's a couple of uh, roots that grew down in the medium, but uh, most of them, uh, these ones, grew aerial. What worries me is that I cannot just force them into the medium to rehydrate better, because these have branched from one single root, and so they are attached to the uh, pseudobulb by one single root. If the root breaks at the base, that means all these will be lost. Up to a couple of weeks ago, all these roots had nice growing tips, but they stopped growing. It happens with some orchids, at least with mine. Uh, they grow happily during the darker days of winter, and when they start uh, to get longer, roots stop uh, growing. And um, it's not uh, a big of a deal because they uh, start to grow back later, or they are replaced by others. So I wouldn't worry if this weren't a bifoliate with these uh, root problems. So I decided to place the orchid low in this pot 
the roots well secured to avoid breaking and um, so that they get uh, hydrated properly. The only medium in the pot is charcoal which is meant to secure the orchid in place. I took the precaution of not covering the rhizome which should never be covered. Fortunately there is a swelling eye there if it grows well, it will bring new strength into the orchid. Before we finish, let's just take a look at my white twinkle. The buds are finally starting to open. <laughs> but a bit of disappointment, as um, they are not opening all at the same time. A few of them already have dropped, because they did not last long. Anyway, these uh, blooms still smell wonderful. I love the smell. And um, maybe it will go better next year. Well, this is uh, all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll be seeing you next time.